Hey guys, this is Taylor Seaton with Topaz Labs, and I'll be talking about the Sharpen Adjustment today. The Sharpen Adjustment is an essential tool to creating perfectly sharpened images and reversing lens blur. The Sharpen Adjustment has the ability to make a $200 lens image look like they came from a $3,000 lens. Now let's get started by opening up some images. Once these images get opened up, we're going to add the Sharpen Adjustment by clicking the More menu on the right hand side of your screen or by clicking the adjustments menu from the top menu bar. So I'm just going to go down here and click sharpen. Once you click the sharpen adjustment you will see that it automatically populates over here on in your adjustment panel. The sharpen adjustment is actually two for one. You're getting the unsharp mask and then the lens deblur. So we're going to start out with this leaf image and I'm going to again add the sharpen adjustment and I'm going to first start out with the unsharp mask. So whenever I am working with the sharpen adjustment I really like to zoom in just so that I can look at the details and really see how it's affecting my image. It might be just a little bit too close so let's zoom out just about two steps. Okay, so you will see that with the unsharp mask, you have three sliders. And let's just take a look at how each of them are going to affect your image. So the strength slider is going to control the overall strength of the unsharp mask. You can see how it affects the image. The radius, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can really see this, is going to affect the line that is actually creating the sharpness around your image. So as I boost up the radius, you can see that line is getting thicker around your image. This is going to make the image appear sharper. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see how it's affecting the overall image. There are definitely some artifacts and some noise that's being introduced to this image, but that's what the threshold slider is for. Okay, this is definitely a little bit more than I would sharpen an image but I'm just going to show how effective the threshold slider works. You can see just a touch of the threshold slider will easily block out the noise and the artifacts. So let's zoom back in a little bit. So you can really see how it's affecting your image. This is definitely a little bit overdone, but I really wanted to show what the capabilities of the unsharp mask are. Take that down a little bit. Let's zoom out again. I just really wanted to bring out that leaf that's in the center of this image. You can see the before and the after. Okay. Now I'm going to click down here on the thumbnail and I'm going to copy this adjustment and I'm going to paste it onto this toad. And as you can see, our sharpen adjustment is now over here and it's already populated with the parameters from the previous preset. Now let's zoom in again. First things first, there's a little unwanted hair on this toad. And as you can see, whenever you select the healing brush, it's going to turn off all of the adjustments because the healing brush only affects the original image. So I'm just going to brush over this a little bit. Make that brush size just a little bit smaller. I'm going to get rid of this little hair right here. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with that. I'm going to click done and let's sharpen it just a little bit more. Okay, that's fit. And as you can see, just really brings out the details in his eyes and some of the sharpness on his little warts. Okay, now let's move on to this mountain image. Again, I'm going to add the sharpen adjustment. Let's zoom in a little bit again. So I feel like this image isn't blurry or anything, but it definitely could be sharper. So for this one, I'm going to do the lens deblur. It uses the deconvolution process to mathematically reverse the blurriness of an image. So you're not getting a cookie cutter filter that's just going to sharpen an image. It's actually going to apply a tailored effect to every image. 
So I'm just going to really ramp up the strength. And again, the threshold slider is going to block out any unwanted artifacts or image noise. Let's do a before and after. Let's zoom in a little bit more so we can really see. Look at the sharpness in between the trees over here and our before. Let's even pan over here a little bit. And you can just see before and after. It really brings out all the small details. Okay, and I really like this effect, so we're going to save this. I'm going to save this as outdoors. Then I'm going to go here, and again, we're going to add the sharpen adjustment. This time, I'm going to come down here and click outdoors. And there we are. Our settings are already there. Let's just look at the before and after. Let's zoom in a little bit. You can see it's just really bringing out those details. Let's ramp up the strength a little bit more. Maybe take down the threshold. Sometimes I like to create a little bit of an emphasis, so I'll use a spot mask. And then invert. And let's zoom out a little bit. It's really subtle, but it just creates a little bit of a focal area. Say you want to save an image, file, save as. You can choose your image quality. Press OK, and your image is saved. Thanks for watching, guys.